What if I told you that you should not have a daily sales goal? You might think, Adam, you're crazy. I mean, after all, the tagline on every single video you produce is to help you and your team smash your income goal. So how can you smash an income goal without having a daily sales goal? It sounds absolutely ludicrous. It sounds completely counterintuitive, but for me, it has worked incredibly well. This shift from a daily sales goal to doing this instead has helped me optimize my performance get even better and make more sales. And I hope it's able to do the same for you. Now, you may agree or disagree, but I invite you to join me all the way till the end so you can make that decision for yourself and then share your feelings and reactions in the comment section below. Now, before we get to it, a quick welcome or welcome back. Adam Benzman here, The Roost Strategist. And as I shared before, everything that I do here is designed to help you and your team smash your income goal and give every customer an amazing experience. And we talk about smashing goals and then I share with you to not set a goal, but I said set a sales goal. How does this all make sense? Well, I'm gonna dive into all that and more. Right before we get to today's video, if you like this video and you want more, I invite you to join me inside our new free training center. In there, I've got a, our Pitch Like a Pro Roofing Sales Training Video Library, our Roof Claims Crash Course to teach you the fundamentals of what you need to know to sell storm damaged roofs. We've got my recommended reading list of the top 87 or so books at the moment organized by category for those continual learners out there. It's got my 10 closing techniques for every situation and a whole bunch more. And you can get in right now for free. There's no catch. You can either click the link in the description or text Text the word free to 303-222-7133. That's free to 303-222-7133. All right, let's get to it. So why did I say that we shouldn't have a sales goal each and every day? And I'll share with you why. Has this happened to you? Have you ever written a sales goal? I will make two sales today and you end up with zero. It's happened to me. And then the next day I have the same goal. Today I will get two sales or whatever the number is. And then sometimes I fall short. Sometimes I might exceed it. But there's often times that if we don't hit that goal, we just set it for the next one. And then what's that same goal? I will get two, goal, two sales today. And I started seeing this within our own team. See, we run our company on an internal chat and I was inspired by Cody Landles, a fellow mentor in the Pitch Pro movement, who runs what he calls a WIG, a wildly important goal for the day. And it's in fact exactly what we do now and I learned it from him. He was kind enough to get me added to his team chat to learn it and now it is a, a fundamental core of how everyone on our team starts the day by typing in that group chat, their wildly important goal for the day. And I kept seeing the, 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 the goal, I will get X number of sales per day. So some days we blew it out of the water and some days we didn't. And I kept wondering, well, how is this gonna help our team grow? How can we continually improve our performance if we're not hitting a sales goal? And I began diving deeper and deeper into stoic philosophy, understanding that we can't control outcomes, yet here we are, and I've been guilty of this, setting goals that are outcome-based. So I wanna repeat that, setting goals that are outcome-based. An outcome, can you control an outcome? No. Can you control whether or not someone buys from you? No. All you can control is how you run the sale, how you educate the customer, how you present your photos to get them to tell you that their roof's all messed up so they buy into their problem, they own their problem, and they're more likely to take action. What you can control is how you overcome those objections. What you can control is how you ask for the business. So what you're starting likely to start seeing now is that whether or not someone buys from you is 100% out of your control and my control. And I know you might challenge that a little bit, but, but really think about it. You and I can't force someone to buy anything. It's just not how the world works. So therefore, an outcome-based goal, like I've made one or maybe two sales today as my goal, we absolutely can't control. So what ends up happening is we set that target and then it becomes a wish. We're like, I wish to get two, two sales and then we don't get it. So then, well, tomorrow I wish to get two sales. So this, my friend, is why I say that setting a sales goal each and every day is not as helpful as I think it could be. And instead, I pose this to you. What can you control? I want you to ask yourself this question. When it comes to selling in the home or selling when I'm out knocking doors or if I'm canvassing a neighborhood, what can I actually control? 
You can control your energy, your enthusiasm, your body language. You can control what you say, how you pitch, how you communicate, how you overcome objections. So what if instead of writing a goal that was about an outcome like making a sale, which you have absolutely no control over, instead you set a goal that you had 100% control over. And not only would you get 100% control of that goal, the outcome of those activities or that clear focus or that clear practice would likely lead to more sales. Would you agree that that might be an even more effective way to write a daily goal? Yeah, I think so too. And it's a big shift that I've had recently. And I want to share with you how, how Matt and I on our team have, have navigated this. Matt was writing those sales goals in our, in our group chat on our wigs. And I said, Matt, I really see this opportunity to help you increase your close rate because what we can do is find ways to do that. Because I've found myself personally, let me know if you agree with this. If we just work really hard on getting better, we don't really have a clear focus. We're just working hard aimlessly in hopes that we'll improve. But instead, if we got laser focused about how we could improve our sales performance, then we have a clear plan of attack each and every day to make more sales. Let me give you an example. When I was listening to some of Matt's calls, I kept finding that at the end of an appointment, if there was objections or questions, I felt like we could discover a bit more about what that person wants to learn or understand or where they are in that decision-making process. And I absolutely do not want people to feel high pressure, but it is important for me to be persistent. It's important for us as an organization to understand your needs to better serve you. And sometimes when people give you an objection, it's simply because they have questions that they didn't even know they had, or that's why they don't want to move forward. So instead I said, Matt, how about this? What I want to do is to do an after action report, meaning you're going to write down what you did really well. We always start there with the list. Then I want you to write what you could do better next time. So as we learn to self-reflect, to look back upon ourselves, say, hey, you know what? In that appointment, I really didn't spend much time at the beginning asking the right questions. Like, oh, okay. So that one thing that we can do better now gets turned into a plan. So that one thing, hey, I can do better at this, turns into a plan of every single sales appointment I run, I am now gonna spend more time in the beginning on what we call discovery, asking those questions like, where are you at in the process? What's the problem with your roof? Why did you call our company? How many estimates have you received? And when I now have that daily goal to practice on every appointment, I'm gonna spend at least X number of minutes or X, X number of questions on the discovery. Now, instead of focusing on, I wanna make a sale, we now know this is the best and strongest thing for me to focus on, and that's the one thing that I can indeed control, and if I do a really good job at this, the outcome, which I cannot control, will often be driving more sales. So there you have it. I changed my mind on this. From having a daily sales goal that was outcome-based to having this revelation, this discovery of, I absolutely cannot control the outcome. So instead of having that daily goal built around a number of sales, I want my daily goal to be built around the one thing that I can control, that by doing so will result in more sales. When we rinse and repeat this process of a weekly after action report, listing out what you did well, then listing out what you could do better, identifying what we call the low hanging fruit. The easiest thing that you can improve upon to start making more sales, example, asking more questions in the beginning, or maybe for you it's leaning into objections at the end. Maybe you can try a challenge of, like I shared in my previous video earlier this month, the 3X rule to overcome those objections by asking questions three times. So once you find what you can do better, we turn it into a plan, that becomes the goal. So you can stay laser focused, develop self-awareness, and continually fine tune your sales skills while at the end of the day, making more sales. So now that you've seen this video all the way to the end, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Agree or disagree? Are daily sales goals good and helpful? Or is it better to have a goal about something that you can actually control? I'd love to hear from you. As always, life, sales, business is an ever evolving landscape of continual learning and I love to challenge my own viewpoints. Now, as you type up your comment in the comment section below, I just wanna air out one thing. This doesn't mean that I'm not a big fan of having a sales target. Those targets are how we build the plan backwards, but I do really wanna encourage you, skip the daily sales goal, 
focus on the plan. This, my friend, is how you coach yourself to become your own mentor, to optimize your sales performance, and then make even more sales along the way. All right, listen, that's all I got for you for this video, but just because our time here is about to wrap up doesn't mean you're in my time has to. So I got a few options for you, okay? Option number one, if you're someone who might be looking for sales training for yourself or for a team, I've had an opportunity to help thousands of folks overcome the same sales challenges that you're likely facing right now. And that's available in our training center, which you can access using the links in the description below. Or you can text the word DEMO to 303-222-7133. And in our program, what I've done is start every single sales rep off with a daily sales plan that's built around their income goal. So I go a step deeper. If you wanna make X number of, sa of, of sales that results in a certain income goal, we can reverse engineer a plan, not just to how many sales, but to what sales activities will generate those appointments, how many of those appointments we need to get those sales to help you stay focused and to hold your team accountable to following that plan all the way to the end. And this little exercise that I shared in today's video about having not a sales goal, but a goal that you can control regarding your sales activities, they work together really well. And I've watched them help folks, including a woman named Michelle, who I just ran into in Tampa. Hey, Michelle. Uh, hearing her story about personal struggles and finding this industry at the right time coming from a place not well off financially in a scary situation both interpersonally and financially to discovering this world of roofing sales applying herself using this stuff that i teach and very quickly making her first six figures in her very first year changing her life and changing her kids lives and that's the those are the stories that excite me the most so if you're interested text the word demo to 303-222 7133, we'll pop over a link to share more. And if you wanna hang with me here on YouTube, YouTube thinks you're gonna love this video. And if you didn't get into that free training center yet, click right here. We'll see you on the next one.